Good morning. Welcome to the Gym of All Trades channel. Glad you're with me. My name is Jim. I'm a crypto trader and a forex trader here to help you understand the market from an Elliott Wave perspective. Uh, glad you joined me this morning. Uh, it's Sunday morning and I've got to get uh, get to church with my people. So I wanted uh, to get you guys an update before I head out. Uh, so uh, we're going to jump right in today. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Please share the love and uh, and uh, share some love in the comments and let me know what you think of the channel and uh, uh, offer some any, any comments or uh, anything, any random comment, anything to help the YouTube algorithm. So uh, that would that would be greatly appreciated. The like button is a fantastic button for you to also hit. So if you wouldn't mind doing that as well, that'd be great. Um, sorry about that. Just getting notifications from the Telegram group. I just wanted to make sure uh, they're turned off. Um, all right, let's jump into Bitcoin, man. We got it. We we got our downward push. The question is, when is this thing gonna stop? I did a live stream last night because uh, I wanted to make sure I took care of you guys and uh, uh, we're ready for some things. I saw a scenario that I I didn't consider. And um, I wanted to make sure that we uh, talked about it. So I uh, want to talk about it one more time here. I want to talk about the uh, four scenarios uh, that we need to be ready for. Uh, if, uh, if you think TA is about knowing where price is going, then you misunderstand TA. Um, what I'm doing is preparing as a trader um, where price could be going and then uh, making uh, evaluations on, on, on how I'm going to trade the market based upon where price may be going. All right. With that being said, I think we're about done, and I think we're about to get a reversal. So, if you're in the market, and you, and, and, and uh, I know uh, I know all of us in our in our trading group are are pretty much in the market right now. We, uh, you know, you're not going to nail the bottom to the tick, guys. Number one, it's just impossible. Well, it's not impossible. We do a lot, to be honest with you. We nailed the, <laughs> we we absolutely nailed the top of this right here, um, and uh, and and traded this all the way down, I exited our position. Uh, right here at this leg, uh, or uh, and then yeah, most of us uh, exited here, and that was a fantastic trade for us. So uh, glad you guys uh, were part of that. Actually, I waited until down here, which yeah, I was really proud of that position as well. But uh, we've come on down some more, and so the question is, uh, do we have any more to come? I'm trading a move to the upside. That's what I'm expecting. I'm in long right now, and uh, my. Uh, Entry was right at seventy nine dollars, seventy nine hundred dollars exactly. I did a market order at seventy nine hundred dollars, so feel really good about that. But that being said, is price going to keep coming down? Well, we're going to look at that. Okay, all right. Uh, let's just talk about what's going on here. Fifteen minute time frame. Uh, we have been waiting for this thing to finish and finish and finish, and we've been asking ourselves, what in the world is this thing uh, that we're looking at? I'm going to get rid of. I'm going to just move this target out of the way. I'll use him later. Um, what in the world is this target? Um, uh, not this target. Excuse me. What in the world is this structure? Uh, and uh, it, it's really, really hard to count. Okay, but uh, I want to share with you my thoughts. Uh, there are four scenarios that I can see that uh, we need to be aware of. Uh, number one, I want to be, I want to be prepared for what I don't consider possible. Okay, that's the first thing. In other words, I want to make sure that I am ready for what I don't think is possible. And what I don't think is possible is for. Uh, price to just come that okay i just i just don't think that that's going to happen okay but that doesn't mean it can't happen and it won't happen okay because the market can do whatever it wants and my technical analysis isn't uh doesn't tell the market that it has to do one thing or another thing so we need to understand that and be very 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 careful about uh thinking about uh, thinking about the market in that way. In other words, always be ready for what you do not expect. The market is always concealing its moves, and the market is always uh, hiding what it, it's always hiding what it's doing. That's pretty uh, redundant, isn't it? Not to mention, I said the same thing a different way. Um, <laughs> so the market's tricky that way. Okay, I want you to know that. So. Let's be prepared for that. So what is your plan? If price came down here and you're in a trade, what's your plan? Do you have a plan? Do you have a, do you have a stop loss? Do you have a way to know? Uh, do you have, I have, um, I have an alert set up. You can see on my, on my screen that I have this little clock here assigned to this trend line right there. And as soon, as soon as price breaks that trend line, Okay, as soon as price hits that trend line, I'm going to get an alert on my phone and I'm going to be able to assess the situation at that time. Uh, I probably, 
if I get a if I get a close of a candle past that trend line, I'm going to seriously consider cutting the trade. For me, that's my plan. Uh, here's here's another place that you might consider uh, putting another alert right there when price uh, breaks this line. Um, what uh, you might give yourself uh, an alert as well. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Let's see. Uh, at, yep, there it is. And so I'm going to get notified here as well. I've got double trend lines here that uh, when price crosses, it's going to let me know uh, what to do. Okay. So, uh, I mean, it's going to let me know that price has come there and I want to be ready for that. So, all right. Second scenario I can see uh, that I've been sharing and we what we've been preparing for. I'm seeing this. Okay. So I'm seeing this three wave move like this. And so we've basically got a three wave. Uh, actually, this is quite, quite difficult uh, way to uh, interpret how these fit together. Um, this, this could be, you know, one, two, three, an X wave, and then we're going to get one, two, three to the upside like that. So we'd have a basically you know, move like that. Uh, the other way to interpret it is you got, um, you got one, two, three, X wave, one, two, three. That's really huge. I don't like the proportionality of it, but again, it makes sense. Uh, I mean, that this kind of all goes together as kind of a flat correction or something like that. So that looks like it, it, it's a plausible thing. And so uh, that's a scenario I've been looking for as well with a target up here. We've been talking about this. Um, is that set properly? And that $8,700 to $8,950 in that ballpark. Okay, uh, actually price came down lower. That's why the targets came down a little bit. So $8,700, fantastic target, which is the top of structure right here. And this is this 87 we've been waiting for, 80, 87 to 88 we've been calling for. But the price has come down lower than we expected, and so that's bringing the targets down. So we have this target zone right up here uh, at 89 and 87. So I want you to be aware of that. Let's go ahead and throw, uh, nope, control Z that. Get that target up there. Get that target there. There you go. So that's another scenario I want you to be aware of, okay? So uh, finally, uh, not finally, but uh, let's talk about another scenario here. Uh, another scenario is that uh, we could just shoot off to the moon right here. That This was a this was the uh, the bottom um, or, or almost the bottom. We, we double bottomed, and then this is the one wave. That's a two wave, and we're about to go to the moon. Uh, that's the third wave of the third wave of the major wave we've been waiting for. So we're waiting for moon, okay? So that's a potentiality as well. I don't want to just cut my cut my loss, cut my target here just because price comes up here. So that's another scenario. Haven't really talked about, but why not? Market can do whatever it wants to do, right? So we're going to be ready for that. So what, how, how are we going to be ready? We're going to be counting the waves here, okay? As it comes up, I'm expecting a five wave move or a three wave move. Oh, uh, so I'm going to get five waves or we're going to get a three wave. Uh, once, if we get a three wave, we're going to measure if it's corrective. Uh, it should be corrective. If we get five waves, we want to measure if, to, if it's corrective or impulsive. Okay. So we'll have to wait and see the nature of those waves uh, as they go up. And that's the only way we can do it. But we have entered in the right place uh, and we're ready for both of those scenarios. And finally, we'll have to talk about those in a later date. The final scenario that I haven't shared with you that I just saw the other day that I just considered for the first time is that this is some kind of beginning diagonal. Uh, I don't like it because it doesn't have the shape of a diagonal, but we want to consider it at least. Um, we want to at least consider it. We have a 1, a 2, a 3, a 4, and a 5. I don't like the way I just counted that. Let me try it again. 1, 2, 3. This is 4 and then five, okay? Um, and so we have kind of a steep correction, then we've got a flat correction, so that's alternation, that's pretty cool, and then down. So that there's five waves there, um, and so this is this is actually a one wave of the fifth wave to the downside, so we've got basically a one, and what we're gonna get here is a two wave coming up here, fairly steep, anywhere from 60 to 70%, 78%, and then we're going to get a steep drop to the, you know, so we're not going to break this high right here. Uh, we're going to have an internal retracement and then come, so that, you know, you're talking something where, you know, $8,300 or $8,400 uh, of, of a target there. We'll have to wait and see how this wave begins to come up. 
okay and then we'll be able to project where it might be going uh, so that's another possibility I have not discussed on the channel it's the first time I've shared it uh, because you know again I'm always trying to think outside of the box trying to figure out this puzzle as it's being made and as information is, uh, comes in I, I you know do the best I can so uh, the, why do I think that that might be a possibility uh, just take a peek right here um, take a peek at this structure right there okay and then just let me see if I can get this stuff off the screen for you so you can see it. Just kind of look at the look at the shape of that and the shape of this. You know, it's not perfect and it's you know it's not exact, but again, it's just just kind of a sideways and then boom up and then boom. Okay, we just got kind of got the sideways. Might get this up and then boom like that. And so I don't know. Uh, I don't know what we're gonna get, guys. I really don't. But uh, I just want you to be prepared for those. So there are your scenarios. That's uh, that's what we're waiting for. Um, if uh, if price breaks this trend line, I'll be watching. If price breaks this trend line, I'll be watching. Um, where would price be heading if we break that trend line? Well, we're heading down to our seventy-two hundred dollar target. Oh, excuse me. Uh, we're actually we we have a seventy five hundred dollar target that we just hit shy of. I think we're going to blow by that. Uh, I've got a target at seventy two hundred dollars, and then I have another target down here at uh, sixty five hundred. Where is that, guys? Where is sixty five? Right, somewhere in this ballpark there. And then we have another target even below that at 6,000 okay don't have time to justify those for you just want you to know that they're there those would be bouncing points and so basically we'll see something like this one two three four five maybe I don't know uh, I'm not exactly sure in the grand scheme of the count you know that would be our fifth wave or something like that of of this now I'm not sure that that has to happen uh, but uh, and there's so many different things to consider I don't have time to consider them with you I just want you to be uh, prepared for the possibility of us going lower than this and breaking the low from here uh, the reason I, I wanted to make sure I emphasize that is because we have not discussed it okay now it looks like we're at kind of a reversal place let's look at the uh, let's let's just look right here at the uh, micro count here on the three minute chart here just to kind of say okay is this thing finished okay um, now this wave right here, just to kind of look, is this thing done? Okay, um, I think it might have one more push, and I'll tell you when that's uh, going to be finished. So here it is. We got this wave here came to the one six one eight. This came to the three six one eight. Okay, um, so how do we? So this is definitely a leading diagonal one wave. We got a two wave, then you got a one two three four five. That's a three wave. This is a four wave, and then we've got one two three four five. Okay, it, th now so so this is really really hard. Okay, because it, it, this extra low right here doesn't make sense. The fact that we made that low right there, uh, because really we had one, two, three, four, five waves complete here, and it should have been going up from there. But we came down and made another low. So how do we count that? Um, one, two, three, four, five like that. Um, one, two, three, four, five for the third wave. There's all kinds of ways to do that. But regardless of how you look at it, this is what I think is going on right here. This is one, two, probably three, four, getting the fifth wave. And the fifth wave is either done or got one more leg down. What's the target for that? Well, the target, um, 84.66 was my final target, my final leg here. Let's look at this last wave and see, uh, what, see if this thing is finished right here. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna kind of take the wave off of that so we can see here. All right, there we go. So we got a one, a two, one, two, three, four, five. There's the third, fourth. We're getting the fourth wave, and then got the fifth wave going down. That's what I'm seeing. Uh, so something like this. Two six one eight. There we go. That's perfect. So this would be a one. No, not that. This will be a one, two, three, four, five. Now, if this goes, uh, if this breaks the yellow line of death that I'm about to put on the screen, then we're going up from here, okay? So uh, if we come on up to 79.48 and go higher, uh, we're done. I mean, this, this wave is finished and we're heading on up, okay? Um, let's take a peek at the nature of this wave being formed right now. It's beautiful. We always like to see it go up like that, but don't be fooled. 
Okay, we're at a corrective fibs right now, at corrective fibs. Okay, if you've got a sick stomach and you want to get out of the trade now and pay the extra fees to wait for it to come down here, you can. Um, but uh, you know, or you can just hold on to it. Hold on to it. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. This is about done. Put a stick in it. It is done. Uh, we're at the one to one extension. Could hit the one two seven six extension at seventy nine thirty six. But this is, I think, this is about finished. Uh, so this is gonna, guys. We're looking at one more, one more scary wave to the downside, y'all. Can you handle it? Can you handle it? Seventy nine, seventy eight, sixty, or something like that. All right, there it is. Okay, you guys have a fantastic day. I'm going to get this video out to you. Love you. We'll talk to you uh, tonight during the live stream, 9 o'clock Eastern time. Lots of, uh, lots of action going on. We'll talk about uh, Bitcoin tonight. All right, talk to you later.